Hi guys, this is Mikhail Pazdernik from Prague ICU. In this video, we will show you how to perform plural drainage. Also, do not forget to go through our plural drainage presentation that will give you more useful information and tip and tricks about the topic. Before the procedure, baseline observations including blood pressure, ECG and SpO2 are taken. Supplemental oxygen is administered. Before scrubbing up, we recommend to perform a provisional ultrasound with marking of a puncture site, for which you can use the needle hub. After scrubbing up, proceed with setting up an aseptic trolley. Before opening the pleural puncture kit, always check the expiry date. The set contains 50 ml syringe, integrated connecting tubing, thin wall puncture needle with short bevel, and 45 cm long highly elastic polyurethane catheter with protective sheath and closure cap at proximal end. The sterile trolley contains cotton swabs for chlorhexidine, skin disinfection and sterile drape, sterile ultrasound probe cover and gel, syringe and needles for infiltration of local anesthesia, pleural drainage kit, and on the left side there is a suture kit and gauze pads. Now we prepare the antiseptic solution, put it directly on the cotton buds. Apply aseptic skin prep widely around the insertion site and allow 3 minutes to dry. Start from the center and move out. Never come back to the center. Once that is done, we drape the patient. We use the fenestrated drape first. Your mark is in the center of the window. The second drape is used to set up nice big sterile area. Insert the ultrasound probe into the sterile cover. Apply sterile gel on the probe and tie it with rubber band. Then reconfirm the position of the marking with ultrasound. Check the expiry date and draw up an anesthetic agent. Anesthetize the superficial tissue and skin with orange needle. For infiltration of pleura and periosteum, use green needle. Always apply negative suction before injection. Once you are in pleura, withdraw the needle slightly and slowly inject the local anesthetic when the needle is withdrawn. Allow at least 5 minutes for local anesthetic to work. Use the blade to make a nice wide track for the pleural set insertion. Enter just above the lower rib to avoid the neurovascular bundle. Insert puncture needle and confirm the position within the pleural space by putting the catheter inside the pleural cavity.
Remove the puncture needle and clamp the catheter before attaching it to the tubing system. Ensure all drainage holes of the catheter are completely within the pleural cavity. Then you can start draining. Send first 50 ml syringe to the lab for analysis. The pleurocon system contains double anti-reflux valves, hence there is no reflux of fluids and air to the patient. Furthermore, it provides easy aspiration of the fluids and speedily transfer to the secretion bag without using the three-way stopcock. Always check the vital signs during the procedure. When you can't aspirate anymore, withdraw the catheter slightly to change its position within the pleura. At the end of the procedure, re-evaluate the pleural cavity with ultrasound. Despite no strong evidence, we don't recommend to drain more than 1500 ml of pleural fluid to prevent re-expansion pulmonary edema. Secure the catheter to the skin to prevent drain falling out using one or two holding sutures. Then continue zigzag around the drain where you put a couple of knots as you go along. Finally, apply transparent dressing on the folded gauze pads as this allows one side to be inspected by nursing staff for leakage or infection. At the end of the procedure, use ultrasound to check pleural sliding and other signs to exclude pneumothorax. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for our next videos on Prague ICU.